So, um, fingerprinting PGP. Uh, we all know that PGP is an interesting uh, medium for encrypting uh, all your messages. And this is not only interesting for us, but this is also interesting for the adversary malware. And I don't know how many of you do threat, form, threat modeling, but there's a, a quite common threat modeling model that is called the Yao Dollar model, which includes already a pre snowden uh, threat model where we have an adversary who is in complete control of the communication medium. Um, so basically, since this threat model is pre snowden there has been expectations about someone copying all encrypted traffic, right? So, and I was very much interested in how difficult it is to identify encrypted traffic. Um, and not only encrypted traffic, but also um, in a later threat model, um, if you develop it a bit further, uh, how to find the key material that you can use to de decrypt the archived encrypted material that you have. So basically, the threat model that I want to explore is, you have an adversary who is copying all PGP messages, and as soon as you become interesting, he retrieves your key material, decrypts all uh, messages from the past, and reads all your encrypted messages in the future. And you will not know about this, and you will feel safe, and I do PGP, and all I do all this horrible stuff that makes my life miserable because of, I try to do something safe. And in the meantime, you are not really uh, doing anything safe because the PGP key material is compromised. So I was, I was interested in how difficult it is to identify PGP keys and how difficult it is to identify PGP messages that are encrypted. So with PGP messages, uh, you have basically a basic format that is the binary format, and then you have a second format that is the ASCII ARM format, which you all know if you ever seen a, a PGP encrypted message in email, then that's the ASCII ARM format. If you want to... Um, Um, if you want to detect a PGP message, then the top regex that you can see here is a naive regex, but the naive regex catches a lot of uh, crap in quoted email messages and other stuff that might disalign uh, your PGP, um, like, and then you, can, you have to post-process it. So I came up with this much more developed uh, regular expression, and it, it really nicely identifies proper PGP messages um, in whatever format they are. So, and this is a very nice message because you have, you know, in, in regex terms, it's quite easy to develop. It has long static strings, uh, etc. So this is quite fast. Uh, the more, and it's a, it's a pretty big signature, right? So you have, you have a lot of footballs to, to put your, your, your signatures into. So, uh, but there's also a, a second format, this is the binary format, that is the unencoded ASCII Arnold format, and that's a bit more challenge. So here's a, how, how does an uh, 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 encrypted packet look like. If you run PGP dump, you see it has a few fields, like a version, a key ID, uh, what kind of public key algorithm has been used, um, and the public uh, parameters of the encryption. So there's a lot of metadata in the PGP packet itself. Um, that you can see and that you can have footballs in. One of the most interesting footballs that you can have is, of course, uh, the key ID. That is 16 bytes, and if you're interested in one person's PGP messages, you just filter for that, and at 16 bytes, if you have that, you can verify if it's really a PGP message stored away, and then you are very happy that you, you have a really strong selector, as they call it. Yeah? Um, so, but how do you develop that in a, a, a regular expression? Well, it's a bit lame. You have actually uh, like a header, and then you have for each key size that exists, like 4696, 3072, 2048, you have for each one a separate uh, regular expression, which is all together, and then you have this. In total, if you look uh, at how many footboard, or how many static points in the signature are, in this case, there's only nine bytes that you can match, uh, or eight, depending on how the key derivation works. Um, so, and you see here at the end, of course, uh, the key size is in, in bytes. So this is like an 8 kilobyte key, and this is a 1 8 of that, 1024. Um, so, basically fingerprinting. What else can you do with that? Uh, you can do, for example, um, something really cool, like, for example, extend the file command. Um, 
and I did some PGP magic file, like new uh, definitions for PGP, and I have created a shitload of PGP messages that you can check out and try to identify. Um, and when you normally do file command on a PGP encrypted file, what does it answer to you? Data. Yes, data. Um, voila. Um, it tells you everything, basically. What you can what you can glean from the metadata with the file command. Of course, this is shitloads of uh, files. If I just give you an example of one, uh, you see you still hear the, the classical data part, part. But here, for example, you see also it detects keys because I was interested in keys. But we got you know if you do forensic stuff and want to open a file that is encrypted, but you need to have the keys, so you need to identify the map. So actually, these file magic signatures can be loaded into Binwalk. <laughs> forensic tools if you want to do that. And I'm going to publish this, uh, I have failed to publish this before the camp, but I will publish this, I hope, during the camp or uh, one or two days after the camp. Um, so, um, fingerprinting PGP is extremely easy, um, I think, um, and it's just pretty, pretty easy. Um, um, uh, I give you a couple of uh, measurements. Ah, yes, this is also an interesting. Guy. I also created a, an SSL um, regular expression for SSL keys, RSA keys. It's a bit longer, but it's extremely precise <coughs> and it's, it's very nice to, to, for example, find PGP keys in, in a forensic image, for example. What was uh, interesting for me, I created a, a virtual host and I run uh, this regular expression on the virtual host and it threw out, oh, I have three uh, secret keys in this image. And I said, what? I have not even touched this image yet. And what is that? Does anyone know where you find three private keys on a default installed Debian system? CSSH? No. No. OpenSSL has test keys included in binary, in the binary itself, for each uh, key it supports. So you can find each key in, in the OpenSSL binary. Uh, for example, with this regular expression. Uh, and for timing, um, I have done different kind of timings, um, like a combined one. Um, how long it took on a, I think, 700 megabyte virtual image. Um, this is like uh, 3 megabytes per second. This is not really, uh, it, this is uh, how much signatures I used. All, only the asymmetric PGP, only the SSL and PGP keys, symmetric. All PGP, only SSL and uh, ARM. Um, and you can see that this is done with the GNU Regex engine, and it kind of sucks because the, the top that you get is like the PGP ASCII ARM is 33 uh, megabyte per sec. I guess you can filter a one gigabyte link with that, but not much more. Um, uh, this is, uh, you recognize this hard Thank you, sir. So this, this is on my laptop, and this is on, on proper hardware, so you can actually see, um, um, like, there's no big difference, but GNU regex simply sucks, and if you do long and uh, with many exclusive ORD um, uh, parts. But you can see, for example, PGP ARM, on just a proper CPU, you can do a 10 link already. Uh, and I think that's pretty interesting. There's no FPGA special hardware here. Um, and then I, f I looked at another tool, and I like that a lot, uh, because uh, there's a tenfold increase in the combined uh, filtering. You get 36, so we can do one megabit uh, link, and finding all the signatures that you're looking for. Um, the whole paper will be published, rewritten sometimes and then published, but the tools will be published after, the, after this talk during this uh, event. So this is my first lightning talk. Uh, I guess some short questions and then we go for the next one. So you only have selectors for secret keys, not public keys? I don't care about public keys because yeah. I can derive them from the secret keys. So otherwise it would also find something in hovering. Exactly. Okay. But they are different signatures and I don't care about public yeah. keys. I, get, I can get my public keys without doing this. Yeah, as the key server. Yes, for example. Go ahead. Could you, are you planning on uh, doing any uh, simulation scenarios and testing how good you put the anonymized people or how good you put a social network with that or something? Like this, is, this is a completely different research. I, I do not care about this. The only thing is how can I do 
mass collection oh, of uh, messages and key material. How efficient that is and how easy that is. What could be the cost for an adversary or, or how, how much would it cost? How, how feasible is this? This is basically the, the, the whole thing of this research. And also, um, I'm, I'm still shocked that many people think that if a file, file says data, then no one will recognize what's in there. So, um, um, I think this is, this is maybe a wake up signal. Um, any else? Thank you.